Taiwan's presidential candidates presented vastly different energy policies in the second round of televised presentations on Tuesday. TPP presidential candidate Ke Wenzhe lambasted the DPP's presidential candidate Lai Qingde, saying he would lose many votes if he stuck to the DPP's platform of creating a nuclear-free homeland by 2025. Meanwhile, the KMT's presidential candidate Ho Yo Yi said the use of nuclear power was an international trend. Lai, for his part, said it was written into law that the last nuclear power plant be decommissioned by the end of 2025, and this was the basis for President Tsai's plan to be nuclear free by 2050. Earlier this month, Taiwan picked Chue, meaning lacking, as the character that defined 2023. The presidential election is also focused on issues relating to a potential lack of power in Taiwan. I advocate that the life of our number three nuclear power plant should be extended, and our number four nuclear power plant should have an inspection as soon as possible before we decide on the next step. At this point, I really can't help but ask candidate Lai ting -de, do you really insist on a nuclear-free homeland in 2025? Because I'm telling you now, if you stick to this, you'll lose the majority of votes in the business world. The law stipulates that by the end of 2025, the second reactor in Taiwan's number three nuclear power plant must be decommissioned. Under these circumstances, we took the opportunity to draft a plan to be nuclear free by 2050. It's not like we'll turn off nuclear reactors while they can still run. The KMT's presidential candidate Ho Yo Yi even endorsed the recently concluded United Nations Climate Change Conference, saying that nuclear power is an international trend. <laughs> The UN's Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change concluded with several advanced countries pledging to triple nuclear power by 2050. COP28. At COP28, 22 countries stated that they hope to triple their nuclear power by 2050. Some countries did make such a proposal, but that was not the consensus of the conference. The conference consensus was to triple renewables. In addition to nuclear energy, the pro-China candidates separately presented competing visions of the ECFA and cross-strait relations. You used to call the ECFA sugar-coated poison, but after seven years, you still dare not to abolish it. If I were to become president on the basis of equality, dignity and friendship, we will negotiate issues related to the ECFA as quickly as possible, especially the trade barriers China has recently adopted against us. That is, next year in January, the rates they will begin to impose on 12 petrochemical products that we export to China. Originally, there were zero tariffs and they will increase to anywhere between 2% and 10%. I will definitely talk to them about this. Using ECFA and business as a way to force government actions is a tactic used by the KMT. Mayor Ho should explain to the people why China's Ministry of Commerce announced an investigation into trade barriers the day after KMT Vice Chair Andrew Xia visited China and whether the actions later adopted in relation to the ECFA were a result of collusion. You say we must relaunch cross-strait service trade, prepare to open up to a large number of Chinese students coming to Taiwan and lock the economy into China. Well, completely ignoring the impact on Taiwanese society. Lai Qingde once again said he would arrange for more economic and trade exchanges with countries in the Americas and Europe if elected president.